Well, I had day right for most of the day. Uh, but it's no longer the 17th. It's the 18th of June. It is just uh, 19 minutes into the day. And uh, we're just uh, coming back to do the YouTube stroll. Uh, the schedule is shifting once again today just slightly. But enough that it will cause and it will, it will create an issue. Uh, but I'll make up for it between uh, noon and 9 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be able to sleep most of that time. So <coughs> uh, it's not going to be that much of an issue. I have sort of fixed things up. I've been doing some work on the back door. Uh, talk to a student, and then, uh, did some mulling over as I was doing some work, really realizing that there are people in, situ oh, in situations that are very difficult, and the answers aren't easy. The more difficult the situation, particularly within divorces, and dealing with the ch children in between, uh, parents often see the 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 things that the other as an attack on them personally, but and describes to the children the attack that was made, laid upon them by the other person, wanting the other person wanting the kids to see uh, that they were wronged. And I think that a lot of times it's just part of their personality. They people they they want people to sort of see. I've been wronged and how I'm hurting, you know, it's a demonstration of emotion. This happens in many cases to people who are egotistical, but also to gen people in general. There seems to be a sort of a, uh, and this kind of answers Lionel LeBron's whole thing about what, why people do what they do on, on Facebook, because they do have a need to create an, uh, uh, an air of status. And this is what John Stewart does. John Stewart creates an air of uh, status. He does this by doing what he does and uh, hoping other people will buy into uh, his whole sales pitch. And, and that's what it is. And th th this is, the, in many cases, what Edward Bernays was talking about in terms of the manufacturing of consent. Is that, that in order for people to sort of identify with your particular issue, uh, you have to bring your own uh, sort of what you're selling into line with their emotion. In other words, it is not an intellectual pitch, but rather it is an emotional pitch. You appeal to the sense of emotion rather than appealing to the sense of intellect. Even if the person is intellectual, you hit them at the emotional point. Even because what happens, even an intellectual, hit them at the emotional point, they will respond to the emotion better and stronger in terms of this is what you want to do in terms of triggering a person than if you hit them intellectually. And this is the way politics works. Politics works on emotion. You hit the emotion. Once you've hit the right emotion, the intellect goes right out of it. There is no need for intellect. Like, there is often is no intellect. There's a lot of posturing, posing, uh, pretense. Uh, all these words will, will come into play, and uh, this is what you see. I mean, and, and everything is, in many cases, done for the camera, and where before it was just re restricted to Hollywood. Uh, with the advent of the video camera, it's now for everybody. Everyone with a video camera, particularly since now it's on everybody's phones, everybody now has an audience, and this is the nature of YouTube. And the thing is, is that this is the problem with YouTube that that others who are on the intellectual side, well, well why against YouTube? Why get, get your kids off of YouTube? Why all these different things when there are other more effective manners? And it's simple. YouTube detracts from uh, the sense of importance of people who are on TV, particularly on the major channels. You work so hard to get up to these major channels like the, like NBC, ABC, to be knocked off uh, by someone who is, uh, you know, doing something cute uh, uh, with a, with a, with their own uh, cell phone, right? Uh. And this becomes their 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 the sort of. Sense of jealousy that they they're jealous of these other people getting, I mean, 
this is easy to see. Go on to any girl's uh, uh, website, uh, their, or their, 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 their vlog, and a large chunk of the girls have their fans put up a guy doing the same thing, or a, per, or a girl who's older, you know, older than 25, and the, the views just simply fall off. Because these older people, or what's being done on there, simply isn't appealing. They want to see other young people on the on the internet, and so they have a larger audience. They have more views than you do very easily. Because then at the same time, because they are young, they're pretty. Uh, they're gonna going to gain, gain. And this I've seen this that the young pretty uh, vloggers uh, with, with beauty tube or whatever it doesn't. They don't have to get up there and do much of anything. And as long as they, they go mm, and smile and so on and so forth, they're gonna get the larger amount of views as compared to somebody who isn't as good looking even amongst girls that don't do anything. This is why in many cases you see some of them now starting to take off their clothes. Well, there's pretty and then there's naked. And a large chunk of people will say, well, well could say that the guys who are watching for the girls who are pretty will say, oh, well, your choice, pretty girl, naked girl, more often than not because they are the way they are in terms of the way guys are. And this is a standard. This is not necessarily for every guy, but typically, yes. Uh, it doesn't matter what they see or the body part. They can disconnect the body part uh, from the person, and it's just simply about their own physical uh, sort of reaction, the physiological reaction uh, to the naked body that will draw them from the pretty girl who is not naked to the girl who may be so-so, but now she's naked. And so that gives you the... Uh, the edge there, and you'll see you, you you can see how their views are. You can see uh, in, in in cases where they're they 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 they're, you can give them tips. Girls will now dance instead of having going to a club and paying a dollar or so to see a girl girl do whatever. Uh, they now can do the same thing on the internet through Snapchat. Through uh, there's one called Likey. There's an, uh, even uh, Instagram now has its own thing. They have reels as well, which is supposed to be a copy of TikTok, uh, and it's all about girls getting up there and shaking their stuff. That's the pri that's the primary performance. The guys are way down at the end, uh, significantly further behind the, the 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 girls because they're not necessarily shaking their stuff. They're not the audience. So and this is this is the way it, the way things are. And you have to sort of accept in the situation if you want to be happy with some of the things you do. Not to necessarily follow the trend, but make your own path. Uh, but it's, this is something difficult for Lionel, and this is difficult for a lot of people really to sit out there and make their own paths and not expect that other people are going to follow along and do what they do. So anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now. I'll get on with the YouTube stroll. I feel like something to eat, but I don't know what I want yet. So, uh, we'll leave it at that. Alrighty, take it easy. It is 18, no, uh, 21 hours and 39 minutes. Ugh, uh, 29 minutes into the uh, 18th day of June. Uh, it's close enough to to mix up the day, the time, with the day, and that's what happens. I'm just getting up, just getting my day going, and we do have a package opening. Uh, so let's we'll see what this is. Comes in like this. So get that first bit open. It is the uh, turn signals. I ordered some turn signals from, for the scooter because I do have an issue in making turns. So the turn signal has come in. Here we go. This is it. So I've got a left. I've got. Here we go. That's good. I've got the left and right. Uh, the stop button and here's the wireless charger. The wireless. Uh, um, signal bit. 
So anyways, I think I'm going to uh, charge this and then try it out and see how it ends up working out. So yay for that. Uh, I'll probably also do the uh, photographing for the uh, uh, for uh, the company that shipped it. So anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. I'll probably be back later on when I start doing the uh, YouTube stroll. I still have some uh, gaming, some meditation to do. I have to check on the back door to see how that's coming along and then uh, progress from there. Oh, so it's still getting up, but the, I yawn anyways in here, so <laughs> not much of a difference. Well, it is uh, 23 hours and uh, 38 minutes into the 18th day of June. That's where the, the last uh, 20 minutes of the day uh, so we're vlogging here as uh, a point that we can vlog at. Uh, I just had some breakfast. <laughs> yeah, at 30 at night. And this is the bizarre thing: is that when you're when you're working really late at night, you really don't feel like any food. Uh, like the, the, you don't want a steak, you don't want a burger, you don't want anything at, at, at this at this time. Uh, so it's the short order menu that I'll be working on for now is basically going to be. Uh, an all-day type of breakfast type of thing because I really don't feel like anything else. It, it, it's, you know, a, a lot of what I eat really determines how I feel in terms of mood and, and of course, the temperature of the environment. But uh, it, it, late at night, uh, uh, when you're still feeling very fatigued, and, and, and in many ways, in a bizarre sense, I'm back in the altered states again, but in the altered state again. Uh... <sighs> and so well, the thing is, is I don't know what I want to eat. Is it, is it, it's not that I that that I want. I, I'm craving anything specific. I just I don't know what I want to eat. And so typically, this looks like uh, the thing I go to more often uh, are the carbohydrates, and uh, that's kind of the all day breakfast type of thing. Uh, so that, that's kind of the way things are going right now. That's the way, way they are. And uh, uh, I'm now at our, our, our family nest on the YouTube show. I've been doing that for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to be I'm going to be continuing on that path uh, for the next couple of hours. I got some gaming to do around one o'clock in the morning. So I've got another boo. Oh, hour and a half or two hours left to go before I have to go do some gaming and then uh, probably when we go back to bed again we'll see what ends up happening in terms of uh, the overall progress of the of what I get done we have returned at 3 a.m. <sighs> three hours and eight minutes into the uh, 22nd day of June, uh, this is basically a fueling stop, <laughs> well, I always do things in terms of travel, because that's what it feels like, I feel like I've been on the road for a long time, and every once in a while you need to stop and get off the road and sort of, well, rush your legs and sort of get out and stretch, and, because uh, it's a long hour drive and you're going to have to go back to it. This is basically a fuel stop. This is where you stop to uh, fill your tummy and uh, fill, it, fill yourself up and so that you have uh, fuel to move forward over the next coming days. Well, actually, the next coming hours is what it's about. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, when your body is in this situation, it's uh, you don't want anything heavy, so you just find something uh, easy that's around. I'm having a bowl of cereal. I'm mixing my cereals, and so uh, I have uh, uh, a number of different choices. I didn't, couldn't decide what I want, so I mixed everything together. I'll probably have a couple hard-boiled eggs and then uh, a milkshake later on. Uh, so that's what's on the schedule for now. I did. I was able to complete the basic structure of the notebook, uh, so we'll be moving forward with that. I decided that uh, 
I'll be working from Tuesday, well, three 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 days of the four day week. So I'll be working um, on Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Take the weekend off, give myself a four day weekend, and just to sort of sit back and sort of mull things over. And that's part of the conversation that we have on the scooter is it is. Sort of, you know, thinking about the things you've read, thinking about the things you've 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 you've, you've researched, uh, and allowing sort of the the uh, the the understandings to evolve in a more relaxed situation. So that sort of things there now. And so now I'm heading off to do the Yali, the 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 YouTube strolls. So I'll be heading off to Yali vlogs. And uh, we will see where we go from there. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's been a while. We haven't vlogged in a bit. It is um, <laughs> my days are off. Wednesday, June twenty third, and um, we're vlogging in the remaining hours of the day. It's twenty two hours in eight minutes into the twenty third day of June. Uh, it just, the way things go, particularly with the way I'm sleeping, uh, and there is no sort of sleep pattern, it just whenever it occurs, it occurs, but at the same time, I'm working within the dream, so, uh, a large chunk of my time, my dreams aren't necessarily as restful as they could be, although the new tea that I'm having does seem to be able to sort of kick the adrenaline off, I'm not waking up with feeling like I've been weightlifting uh, all night long. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's just that, and again, using the, using the term all night long, I don't necessarily mean all night long. I mean for the period of time I've been sleeping, because that could be 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It could, well, today it was from uh, 7 a.m. till noon. And then I didn't hit the deeper part of my sleep uh, uh, until 1 o'clock uh, on to 6. But again, it, it wasn't a steady sleep. It was, it was I, almost every three hours I was awake, uh... And again, it was something going on in the dream that wakes me up. I have to think about it for a bit, go to the bathroom, get a glass of water, and then go back to bed again. And just, that's just sort of the way that's the way the sleep progresses. Again, it's not I, I call it night, but it does not it's not necessarily night. This is sort of the nature of thing, and this is sort of what uh, Carly Reese is going through. She's not uh, sleeping well. Her sleep is pretty much broken up. It's not steady, and it's it's. it's uh, she's starting to feel the effects of sleep deprivation, and and from what I'm seeing, with a large chunk of the people who doing online schooling, this same pattern is popping up where the sleep pattern is thrown off. Uh, sometimes you don't, you can't do your best writing, you can't do your best thinking until really late at night, and that's when the, the ideas and thoughts start to flow. Uh, I know a lot of writers uh, and people of that type of uh, work, where the creative work is going on, they do their best work at night. They, they're, they're night owls, and typically they'll sleep end up, end up sleeping all day long. But that's a, it's sort of a bad cycle to get into, with it it actually throws off your sleep cycle in terms of being awake and asleep at particular times. Uh, my sort of called sleep clock is long gone. Uh, and this is why I don't have a nighttime routine or a daytime routine or, or a morning routine or, or, or I don't have a bedtime and I don't have a waking time. It just, you know, I don't have a morning. It's just, it's whenever I transition, that's why I call them transition because it's a transition from one state to the next state. And because I'm a lucid dreamer, it's just simply, again, a transferring from one state uh, physically to a second state uh, physically. The mental state remains the same. Uh, I, I'm as conscious in my dreams as I am. Uh, I am awake. Oh, and so the 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 conversations become a little difficult back here. Uh, I have them on the uh, on the scooter, and I know it does take me a while for a conversation to evolve. It evolves from my initial getting on the on the scooter and, and taking off. It takes me. It takes me a, book, a good five minutes to really get the conversation to where it needs to be, 
And I think this is something that, that Carly is kind of struggling with, that she wants more of a personal type of vlog, but doesn't know how to go about doing it because bringing the conversation when, when simply the camera's there, you're, you're talking to the camera, fundamentally, from what, from what I see. But you're intending it for other people who are listening to be as a conversation, that you're sitting here with me in a conversation, but I have to keep the conversation flowing in terms of different thoughts and ideas. Uh, and that's a difficult thing to do because <laughs> as the camera turns on, it doesn't matter what you had before in your mind, the mind goes blank and, and you're starting from square one all over again. And it's a daunting time. It's hard enough at my, at my age, if you will. Uh, look hard, and she's going through a very difficult transition period. She's 16, 17, and 18 are the difficult transition years. This is when, particularly for girls, this is begin when they begin to realize their childhood is ending. Uh, they've had several bad relationships, and she has had several bad relationships. She finds out what guys are like in the teen years. And can't seem to manage it. And so as she's transitioning out of high school and realizing that she's not going to see these friends again, it's, in addition to her sleep deprivation, is causing a lot of serious mental health issues. And so, <laughs> these are things that are, are common among sleep, sleep deprivation. The sleep deprivation can cause, can play some serious tricks with your mind. I start out wanting to say one thing and then I change my mind in mid-sentence as to what I, what I really want to say and uh, the phrasing, it, it sounds like a lot like stutter because I start off in one direction and end up in another. Uh, but that is this, that, that's just sort of the nature of things and this is why there are gaps in the vlog. I try to vlog as much as I can uh, almost every single day. I do vlog every day, it just does not particularly in this vlog. This vlog is sort of in between the other vlogs. So you do get between the road vlog and the... Uh, our life as cyborg alpha, you get a, a full tw a full uh, uh, daily vlog, if you will, uh, if you want more content or this or that. You know, depending on where where your content is in terms of what you'd like to watch on TV or in terms of having this be your TV. Sometimes you want a good conversation and you can find it here. Sometimes my conversation is, isn't so good and well. It's not as exciting as it should be. But, but, but then, how exciting is the life of a physicist, of, of a scientist? If, if you're an independent researcher, there are some challenges, but you, it's, it's not stuff you can, not not stuff that you can vlog. You can't film it. Uh, it's very difficult to that. The observation is extremely boring. <laughs> it just because it takes so long to do. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I think that would be enough for today. I'll probably add in something later, a couple hours later from now. I have to go do some gaming and some meditation till about midnight. And then at midnight, uh, the, the, uh, the cycle of meditation starts all over again. And so we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, probably 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'll come back for another transition point And uh, probably back here and have a, 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 another bit of a discussion. You know, continue on with the conversation.